Over the space of eight years, Mongezire Mabandla has steadily built a career that now sees him take his place as the enigmatic spirit of African soul. He recently saw his third album, Imeni, shoot to number one on iTunes over its debut weekend in South Africa. Mongezire is back on Afternoon Express with his latest music video, Bambelela Gum. so smooth as he does so well. Welcome back to The Loft, Mongezu. Hello, thank you for having me again. I'm happy to talk to you today. You've brought something so special to your fans this time around. You've recently released a <sighs> stunning lyric video to your fan. Now, this captured quite spectacularly the simplicity of your music and your sound, and also it just looks exquisite. I mean, those continuous shots starring just you and your guitar. So what was the inspiration between, behind these videos? The two videos that are out now is uh, videos we shot while we were in France. I feel like uh, the person who worked on them and directed them is somebody who knew the music very well and who knows me as an artist very well. So it's, uh, I think it just made it that much more special. A beautiful synergy we saw there happen. I was glued to my computer screen when I saw it. Now, the lyrics are so special to you, too, of Bambele Lagum. I mean, this song is your favorite song on the album that speaks about complicated yes. and dysfunctional love. So why is this your favorite? And, you know, what does the song speak to for you personally? Yeah, you know, I, I love the song uh, when I was writing it. And it really reminds me about family. And when I mean family, whatever your chosen family is, it's about people trying to make difficult situations work. Sometimes you can love somebody, but it doesn't mean that uh, you don't have struggles and you don't have challenges. How can you still love somebody even though it is difficult or you're in a difficult situation? How do you go about creating a song like this? Like, what is the process that you go through speaking about such a sensitive subject? The process for the song. Uh, this album was uh, really a look at a relationship that I had gone through. I really introspected myself, you know, and, and I wanted to write about the confusion that, that sometimes comes with love. Yeah, there is confusion, there's uncertainty, but I think the way in which you capture these feelings is so spectacular and so beautiful, beautifully written, beautifully composed. And this is the theme that carries throughout the entire album, Imeni. This is your third album. And in the music industry, Abanya Bantu a third album is a coming of age. You tend to come full circle. <laughs> so would you say that this is your coming of age? <laughs> Yeah, I think so, you know. I, I think this is definitely my best album. I really wrote about a topic that I have so much to say about. It could be anyone's story, it could be anyone's album. I think a lot of us have experienced heartbreak and being in love. I think that's what really, really made it special. So I would agree. And I want to also say congratulations. I mean, I can't not congratulate you. When greatness is achieved, we must pat each other on the back. This album, Imini, went to number one on iTunes in South Africa, Botswana, and I mean, did incredibly well all over the world. It also charted quite well in the US. How does that feel? Yeah, it started at number 23. Yeah. I was very happy, you know. Uh, I definitely do not uh, write albums to, to chart at number one. But I think even artists like me appreciate uh, acknowledgement and recognition. And I guess it's also my time to just say thank you to all those people. It is your time indeed. This is my Sunday self-care day album. When I'm washing the dishes or cleaning up the house, playing Imini in the background gives me the most incredible sense of serenity, like I can take over the world. And you've recently taken over the pages of GQ. Your style, your image clearly means a lot to you, Mr. Mongeziwe. So why does this, why are you Sabu model-esque? <laughs> Stylist, uh, I love fashion in the sense of um, art, but I'm, I'm, I don't really see myself as a style stylist. <laughs> 
Okay, fine. We won't give you that title. It's all right, but we, you know, you know that you're owning the space regardless. Finally, before we say goodbye to you, Mongeziwe, any last words to your fans? You are meant to be traveling, jet setting Europe, touring around, sharing your music. I mean, what do you want to say to the people that show you love on a daily basis? Yeah, you know, it's so weird, you know, uh, making music uh, is, is, is a great art form, but you know, without people, uh, you know, responding to the music, it really doesn't mean much. So I'm so thankful to all those people that carry me, uh, you know, that show me love, that send me DMs, that send me messages, that encourage me all the time. I really don't take it for granted. And I want to also, again, take this opportunity to say thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, you are definitely the wonders of my life. When I make work, I'm constantly thinking about you. And, um, and I hope we grow together. Yeah. And stay safe. <laughs> Underline italics, yes. bold. Yes, stay safe and yeah, look after yourselves. And uh, hopefully we will all see each other on the other side. Definitely, that is a promise. Thank you again, Bongeziwe. We truly appreciate you. Your soulful spirit and energy is something we appreciate here on Afternoon Express. Thank you. Express yourself. <laughs>